Okay, some uh, more organizations on deck, please. Children's Theater Workshop, Carolina East Medical Center, Camp C, uh, Seagull, Camp Seafair, Camp Donnelly, uh, Camp Caroline, Broad Creek United Church of Christ, Broad Creek Christian Church, Bethany Christian Church, and the African American Caucus. Uh, please, on deck. And by the way, thank you for the great job you're doing in describing your organizations. Um, as we meet here, uh, we not only are making organizations better and you're more informed and you're able to work together uh, more effectively, translation lives are being changed and saved uh, and the community becoming more prosperous and, and stronger, but also people watching on our video, uh, which we are, we are going to have uh, on our website and, and get to each of you. Uh, we envision people out there listening to this and lives being changed, say, and our community being stronger. So, thank you for what you're doing, and uh, uh, thanks. Raise your hand if you have a library card. Good for you. We may not be the biggest county in the state, but we sure have a great library. And for those of you, for those of you who do not did not raise your hand, the library is open until eight o'clock tonight. Stop by and say this. And you know we have books online now. For those of you who may not have heard that, I'm representing representing the Friends of the Library. My name is Peggy Dunphy, and I'm the vice president. Behind me is Kathy Graff, who is our secretary. The Friends of the Library, in a nutshell take up where the funding like leaves off. So we have tried to support the library financially in some of their various projects and also provide volunteers. Some of the things that we have done for the library is provide new doors that were easier to open because we had some very heavy doors before and people who were not who were handicapped or elderly like me couldn't get the door open. <laughs> We, they also provide books. We have provided computers and computer programs. We pay for the Wi-Fi. Uh, we have a summer reading program for children that we support. For those of you who have participated in the Let's Talk About It series for adults, that's an adult reading program, we support that. Uh, we also support adult literacy. And right now, our big campaign is new shelving and furniture for the library. If you've seen some of the chairs in the library, you know that's a real need. <clears throat> our money is raised through three sources, through memberships, through donations, and through our book sales. And write this down, the next book sale is Saturday, June 9th. It's coming up very shortly. We meet the Friends of the Library meet at the library at noon, the first Thursday of every month. That means our next meeting is Thursday the 7th. So I hope some of you will decide to join us, and I look forward to seeing all of you at our book sale on the 9th. Thank you. Director for Focus Therapy Services. We have a, um, an office right here in Hamilton County as, as well as one in New Bern and Moorhead City. We are primarily an occupational therapy company for children ages 0 through 20. Uh, we have with us today Michelle Brown over here and Megan Skinner and Ashley Whitley. Um, they are our current occupational therapy assistants that work with all of our children and they bring lots of evidence-based practices to our facility so that we stay up and right at the top of where we need to be to bring a, a, a lot of good concepts to our children. Now, as our speaker has told us, everybody has problems in their lives 
or in their facilities that they work in. Uh, we every day face children who come to us with lots of problems and we're supposed to be helping them solve those problems. Most of the children we see have ADHD, autism, or cognitive difficulties. So we do our best to help them with these problems. Uh, one of the new things that we're working on this year in conjunction with my husband, he's our vice president, his name is Rick Happ, and he's not able to be here with us today, but what he is helping us do is to start a wireless radiation awareness program here in Pamlico County. Now, that may sound kind of scary to everybody because everybody in here usually carries a cell phone with them and are pretty much addicted to cell phones. And you wonder, well, what is that actually doing to us? So what we're doing in connection with the Pamlico Public Library is um, under the direction of Pat Clowers, we are starting this wireless radiation awareness program. Now what that's gonna mean is that Focus Therapy is gonna be donating what's called an, an acoustic monitor to the library. And this acoustic monitor is gonna be able to be checked out by any person um, in this community. And it's going to be able to check the levels of radiation that are in their homes. Now, my husband has already talked with Chris Meadows, the principal of the high school here, to help bring about this coming fall a speaker um, that's going to be brought in to talk to the students to let them know the dangers of wireless radiation. Now, a lot of this information has been out and lots of medical studies have been done. Millions of dollars have been spent, but the information has been pushed under the rug. So we're gonna be here to help bring about that information and to try to increase awareness to everyone around so that um, everybody remains safe. So I thank you and um, thank you for inviting us here today. Good morning. Uh, one of the Girl Scout mottos, well, the Girl Scout mottos, to be prepared. So I came prepared. <laughs> we are we are here representing the Girl Scouts, not only here in Pamlico County, um, but also in our whole membership area. Uh, we're part of a council that's based out of Raleigh, and uh, which encompasses it's the Girl Scouts of North Carolina Coastal Pines and encompasses the area from Durham, pretty much all of Eastern and Southeastern North Carolina. Um, and then though this area is broken up into membership areas, and I have Laura Lee Davis here with us, and she's a Girl Scout um, employee and represents that area. And she'll tell you a little bit more about the program of what's going on in this whole area. Um, the uh, membership areas are broken up into service units, and Melissa Shepard is, is the, ringleader of our service unit, which encompasses New Bern and Pamlico County. I'm Gail Watts, I'm a troop leader here in Pamlico County, and Tammy Rodriguez is a troop leader here in Pamlico County. I know she's a familiar face to a lot of people here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be passing off the reins to Tammy here, and I'll be working on other volunteer uh, uh, things within the Girl Scouts, because I have four girls that have graduated, or are graduating this year, and uh, one of them has been a Girl Scout since kindergarten, and the other three have been since pretty close to that. Um, the mo and one of the things of Girl Scouts is to uh, build girls with courage, confidence, and character. Um, I can tell you two of my seniors have both gotten their gold awards, community service awards this year. It's the highest award that Girl Scouts can achieve. And uh, one of them, their, her project is concentrated here in the county, and she reached out to almost 500 children about water safety and um, drowning prevention, and, and uh, my daughter, um, which she did all on her own. Uh, but as a troop, these girls have grown, and they have done a lot of community service and a lot of reaching out to, in different ways, kind of under the radar quite a bit of it. And uh, we also have done, I've mentioned in the past, some traveling, and as a group, we've 
done quite a, quite a few things, and I can't even begin to tell you the way I've seen my girls grow. Um, but Laura Lee can tell you how they're helping the younger girls grow so they can become like mine a bunch of years from now. Good morning. Can y'all hear me? I'm usually very well without one of those. But I wanted to talk just a little bit about the amazing things that we're doing with girls here in Pamlico County. For those of you that don't know, we do partner with um, HeartWorks, and we serve a lot of girls through HeartWorks, which is wonderful. That's our outreach program that we run throughout the year, where we bring Girl Scouts to where girls already gather so that we eliminate that barrier to participation. That includes uh, transportation and also financially. We provide that program free of charge to facilities that we partner with so that the girls don't have to pick up the uh, $25 membership fee. Now one of the other things I really love, for those of you who don't know, last year Girl Scouts went through a new branding campaign. And that campaign is the GIRL. And I know we talked about daughters here today a little bit, and the GIRL speaks to our daughters, our girls, our, our girls that are growing up today are G, go-getters, I, innovators, R, risk-takers, and L, leaders. And that is what we're bringing to the community. That's what we have to offer. And if you haven't seen our new PSA that is out right now, it's called Lifetime of Leadership. It is on YouTube, and it goes through a couple of our very famous alumni, including like Tyra Banks. Queen Latifah actually is the narrator of the PSA. So I encourage you all to check that out and know that almost 100 girls in Pamlico County have embarked on a lifetime of leadership. So I look forward to bringing it to 100 more this coming year. Thank you. say that last year we were able to have all age levels in Pamlico County by having all three troops offer um, a troop position or a troop for every girl in Pamlico County. Um, I also wanted to say that we are always looking for volunteers. Um, we would really like to address more, da uh, more daisies and brownies, which are kindergarten, first, second, and third graders. Um, we'd really like to impact them. And then I'd also like to put out that we do, are going to try and do a second annual coat drive. So if there's any organizations that know, some schools, some churches that know of families, um, please reach out to us and let us know because we did collect coats, hats, and gloves last year and we were able to pass those along to the families in need. So thank you. Thank you very much. so much. I'm going to let you answer. I, who am I? Pearl. Whoa, good job. <laughs> but here, I, I'm now here for the Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board, and I have with me here today our executive director, Tammy Childers, right there, and board member, Dr. Jim Ross. We have a wonderful board. Um, we serve nine counties, Pamlico being one of them. We connect skills with jobs. We try to help the, the underprivileged, those with barriers to education and uh, work skills with skills and jobs through training, through mentoring, through help, just even simple things like getting a resume written. You heard that from Eric Cedar, the Career Center is part of us, or we're part of them. And uh, we've served 1,200 individuals with scholarships and I'd like to say when I say scholarships, these are different than the foundation scholarships. They're not necessarily academic. We can give scholarships for a six-month certificate in skill. Welding, masonry, whatever. Something is somebody going to get a hands-on job. Uh, we've spent over $11,000 at PCC on grants to help students here. And we also work with employers and help them to get the employees they need, which means that can get employers here, which is good for our county. So I thank you. Hi, I'm Patty Higginbottom. Uh, as founder of the Children's Theater Workshop, I was elected as spokesperson. <laughs> However, the two 
busiest people on our board stand behind stand behind me, stand beside me. Uh, Julia Mobley is our registrar, and she's been at work since March taking care of the registration. Red Children's Theater Workshop is going strong under the leadership of Yolanda Cristiani. Uh, I hope you'll give them a little bit of a hand. I do what I can. I, I uh, remind them what they need to do, and the usual reply that I get back is, yes, I've already done that. <laughs> So it's, we're going strong, and we're going to have a wonderful teacher this year. Children's Theater came into being at a junction when the old theater in Oriental became ready to be occupied, and the last drama teacher at the high school was no longer hired. And I had moved to town as a newbie, and I had experienced the joy of being part of this kind of summer enrichment program. We got wonderful help from Patricia Clark, Dr. Patricia Clark Patch, they call her, at ECU, who guided us in the beginning to make sure that we had a process-oriented program. And that's what we have. We have wonderful teachers that are currently teaching in North Carolina, come each summer and stay with us for a month while we deal with the young people who do not have any drama in their schools, much of any. And we are just thrilled that so many of our young people can keep coming back every year until they finally graduate out of high school. So we're hoping that you all are aware that we're there, and we're hoping that you're a part of our collaboration with the community to keep our with our, in our children's hearts. Thank you. Good morning. I bring you greetings from Camp Don Lee. I'm Kate Metz, and Don Lee Center is a year-round resident, a year-round camp and retreat center um, located in Arapahoe. We offer summer residential camp environmental education, and retreat programs. We are affiliated by faith with the United Methodist Church and host close to 10,000 guests each year. Locally, we partner with HeartWorks to provide day camp experiences for those children. We have our local schools participate in our environmental education program. And as mentioned earlier, we are starting an extension of our ministry Voyages Day Camp, one of which will be um, hosted at Oriental United Methodist Church this summer. I wish God's blessing on each of you and the work that you do to make our community a better place to live and work. Thank you. My name is Antonio King. I'm the pastor of Broad Creek United Church of Christ in Galilee United Church of Christ. I'm also the overseer of Kingdom Fellowship International Ministries. <clears throat> um, I have with me uh, Sister Vicki Mosley. She's going to tell you some of the outreaches that we that we are currently doing at Broad Creek. Um, but I'm going to speak to you real brief about Kingdom Fellowship. Uh, Kingdom Fellowship is a number of local pastors, churches, and leaders that assemble together um, every fourth Sunday. Um, and our, our, our goal is to um, encourage one another, enhance the local body. And uh, as you know, uh, I'm, I'm always nervous. Uh, somebody said, as much as you talk, I don't see why you're nervous when you get in front of people. Um, but I don't know. I can't help it. But um, I, I want to say this, in our communities, the church is usually uh, considered to be the most powerful entity in the community. Um, and unfortunately, at times, when people are in need, they come to the churches in times of tragedy. And
County. And as um, Ms. Bergman said, talking about the homeless family, we have a lot of families that will not have food this summer. So we will be providing lunch on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays beginning June 18th at the Occasions Event Center, which is the building right across the street from the high school. This building is uh, on, run by uh, Bishop King, and he's offering that to us free of charge for that occasion on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. From 11.30 until 1, we will be serving lunches. The lunches will be provided through religious community services. We are asking for your help in the way of volunteerism, in the way of donations, because it's not just for children, it will be for adults as well. Anyone who would like lunch. And that is one of the programs that we're initiating this summer. And as I said, the, I said, the event occasion center. And also as a little plug to my pastor, if you have built uh, other occasions that you would be interested in sponsoring or having, the building is for rent. Not to take anything from Dr. Ross, because he said they're too busy. <laughs> they're too full. But if you have a, a need for occasions, weddings or whatever, please see uh, Pastor King. Thank you all. Thank you to all of you who are still here. Uh, we actually have about uh, 70, 75 people still here, which a week ago we thought would be a really, really great turnout. Again, fantastic turnout. Thank you for your patience in being here. Uh, those groups that still remain, of course, as important as the ones that first went. And uh, so appreciate your patience in being here and the important message that all of you have. I am learning so much today, and I think we're all very inspired by what we're hearing. So please, uh, Dr. Ross, thank you for having us. Uh, I'm John Hyde uh, with uh, YMCA Camp Seagull and Seafair, and you need to know uh, that we have a special greeting uh, at these camps. We say ahoy there, and we do that by showing our muscle. I need you to show your muscle if you would. Come on, help me out now. This is a little silly, but you can do it. And we throw it out there as a sign of welcome uh, to, uh, to all who enter our gates. Uh, and so I will say ahoy there, everybody, and your response will be ahoy there back. Are you ready? Yes. We're ready. All right, here we go. One, two, three. And hoy there, everybody! Ahoy there! All right, you guys are good. You're now in the club, so thank you. Um, as camps of the YMCA, uh, our cause is to strengthen the foundations of community. Uh, and we do that through focusing on youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. Uh, we're able to offer programs uh, year-round uh, that support kids and families, and we do that um, through our partnerships with organizations in Pamlico County, and for that, we're extremely grateful. Um, our Youth and Government Program partners with Pamlico High School and the Arapahoe Charter School uh, to deliver a mock legislative and policy program uh, for 50 high school kids who work throughout the year to prepare for a state conference uh, in Raleigh um, as they travel uh, and share their learnings uh, throughout the year. Uh, we also sponsor the Middle School UN program for middle school students at the Arapahoe uh, Charter School, Pamlico Middle, uh, and Pamlico Christian Academy uh, to focus on world issues. Um, it uh, culminates in a program uh, called the General Assembly in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Uh, we also uh, deliver a program called Presence for Pamlico Kids, uh, and that is uh, a partnership with Pam, uh, excuse me, the um, Chamber of Commerce, uh, Toys for Tots, and also the Department of Social Services. And so all of these programs, again, uh, we rely on our partners uh, in Pamlico County uh, to deliver programs, uh, again, that partner uh, to, to strengthen foundations of community uh, by focusing on, uh, on youth development. Uh, I'm here uh, with my uh, colleague uh, uh, and counterpart at Camp Seafair, the Executive Director, Diane Hillsgrove, Hill, Hillsgrove excuse me, um, uh, Council of Advisors member, uh, Jean White, uh, who I uh, heard say earlier today, um, I am convinced, I'm convinced that youth and government uh, changes lives here in Pamlico County. Uh, Jean, thank you for your service uh, to the camps and to this area. I'm also here with Dave and Judy Wickersham, uh, volunteers uh, and proud grandparents of campers uh, who will be with us this summer. And I know that Dave uh, has a close connection to the North Pole uh, and was able to uh, bring Santa Claus to our community Christmas party uh, this, uh, this past December. So thank you for your uh, service with camps as well. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it is still a good morning. 
My name is Casey Perry. I get to be at Camp Caroline as an advocate for Camp Caroline. It is a wonder to be here this morning. Um, I want to speak briefly on Ben Casey, and those of you that know Ben Casey just know that I just made a joke. He gave me a couple of notes to say about his organization. So this is Casey Perry reporting for Ben Casey, and we are not related. <laughs> but we are related in partnerships. One thing that you will hear about me and, and celebrating Camp Caroline about is how cool it is to be in a room filled with people focused on partnerships. So I'm going to speak about Coastal Heritage Association. Ben Casey wants you to know that it is not a foundation, it is not a society, but an association of people who are working together for interactive classes for students to preserve and document coastal heritage, fishing, and boat building. Um, he thinks that these are two very identifiable entities of coastal heritage, and that all, with all things, things change, and these entities might be facing extinct, extinction except for partnerships. So I want to throw that out there that he wants you to know that he would love to come, and the coastal heritage people would love to come to your organization and talk with children or talk with adult groups about how to build boats or how to keep coastal heritage intact. So that's a note from Ben Casey. My name's Casey Perry. I'm Camp Caroline. I am with Camp Caroline. I am happy to say, first of all, thank you. There's so many people in this room that I would be remiss to not mention all of you because I would miss someone. I've only been at the camp for about three years. I'm continuing to meet people from Pamlico County that say, wow, we didn't know you had all this. So that's my big thing today, is I just want to give a shout out to all of us. All of us in this room are advocates. All of us are ambassadors. The Bible says we're called to be ambassadors for Christ. Camp Caroline is a place where I would encourage you as an organization to maybe come and see and dream about what the facilities and what the programming at Camp Caroline has actually could support you in your ministry, in your mission of maybe raising up the children, raising up the adults, raising up the seniors in our community to be advocates for themselves or to be advocates for others and to be ambassadors for what they find passion in their lives to be. This past year, we have had our first conference. If you drive past Camp Caroline, it says Camp Conference and Retreat Center. Well, we do camps pretty great and we do retreats pretty great. But we had our first conference, it was called Break Every Chain. We had two, 22 different organizations from government to nonprofits to churches this year coming to Camp Carolina to talk about having its first conference. And I want to say thank you to Pamlico Community College and all the different people that got involved with that. But as far as it went, we brought together people to talk about some hard issues around addiction and around opioid abuse. Um, we are growing this year in both of our, our facilities and our volunteer support. I started at the camp. We had two work days during the year. I'm pleased to say that we had 6,000 volunteer hours last year, and I want to shout that out because you understand what volunteer support is like. And we are on track to be at 10,000 hours this year, and that would come through your organization maybe saying, hey, Casey's a guy who worked with us at Barter and Trade. So if we can, if we can accent your program, we, were, we want to work with you. Um, and the last thing, if you have not played pickleball yet, if you don't know what pickleball is, pickleball is the fastest growing sport in the country, and we have amazing facilities at camp that we welcome you to come and experiment, experiment with and experience. Pickleball is a volunteer organization now that's running six days a week. Um, they are playing pickleball for the community. We are still looking for adults to help run our basketball for the community and our volleyball for the community. Even though we do have that every week, we hope that that will continue to grow. Um, thank you for your time today, and I do want to just close just by saying one thing that's a measure for how this year has been so crazy with growth is that we are actually poised to be looking for two to three new employees, which is pretty monumental for us, and we want to call that out as a, as a shout out for helping Hamilton County grow. Thank you. If we have not called your organization's name, uh, please feel free to come up uh, on deck. If not, this will conclude our, our uh, group. So uh, please feel free, though, if we've uh, forgotten you. Almost good evening. I'm Larry Prescott, Fort Creek Christian Church, one of the elders there. Uh, Lily Tindall is uh, one of our four elders. Also, he's a uh, team leader in uh, charge of our worship. 
We have our office manager, Hannah Dees, with us, and uh, Dominic uh, Chassie. Uh, Dominic is, uh, has been with us part-time. He is a rising senior, be graduating in December at uh, Mid-Atlantic Christian University in Lisbon City, and he's with us this summertime as our youth minister. So I'm going to give him the opportunity to say a few words. So I've only been in uh, the area for about two weeks, so I'm brand new. Um, but in the short time, uh, I've been able to see how Broad Creek has been able to serve the community. Um, this summer, we're actually being able to use our facilities for the YMCA and a uh, local homeschool co-op. Um, and we have also been able to serve uh, food at a local RCS. And those are just a few of the things that Broad Creek has done in its long history. Uh, but it's always a joy. Uh, to serve the community and serve you guys and serve others. And so we look forward to serving uh, this community, this county, and uh, you guys in the future. So thank you for having us today. I do want to mention something. I, I still count about 50 people here. I know rumors started that we're serving lunch, but that's not true. So, but uh, no, thank you for saying it. Yeah. I'm glad you all came this morning, and I thank you so much for waiting around for what apparently is the last presentation. From Bethany Christian Church, my name is Reverend Tori Osgood. This is Roger and Polly Serpinant. Roger is our outreach chairman at the church. Matt Harris, you've already heard from. Uh, many of the organizations that you represent are not new to me. I've heard all about it from the members of my congregation who make up the members of your organization. It is right and proper for churches to be here because a lot of churches are the ones who feed these various nonprofit groups and help them. Indeed, in a long sort of way, they are what is the backbone of those nonprofit groups. Bethany has all sorts of things going on like the other churches. We like to think of ourselves as the home of Operation Veggie Box. But I want to thank you for coming out. I want to thank you all for supporting our community the way you do. And thank you we're just breathing life in the Pamlico County. Have a good day. Michelle Wilber, could you come up, please? In the uh, spirit of this uh, meeting, I want to donate to the Pamlico Community College Foundation the $175 that were so generously uh, given back to us. And uh, I know the uh, foundation board will uh, vote on uh, where this goes uh, uh, for uh, scholarships and what the criteria will be, but it's 150 from Bradley's Restaurant, $25 from the anonymous donor. So uh, uh, Michelle is the executive director of the foundation. Uh, please, uh, uh, proceed to uh, deposit this in the foundation's name for scholarships. Thank you to all of you for coming today. Thank you for what you do for Pamlico County. It's been my belief that this is one of the nicest rural communities in America, uh, facing the problems that every community has in a spirit of teamwork, in a spirit of love, in a spirit of determination, and a spirit of making lives better. That's what we do with the college. And in partnership with you, magical things are happening. We want to do this every year. We want your organization to please remember that this facility is yours as much as ours. And uh, that's why we got bumped from the uh, date we wanted. And uh, please remember the celebrations, fundraisers, uh, anything that you want to have. Reserve it months and months and months in advance, as we now know to do, and uh, there will not be uh, rental fees for you. Uh, it's our part to say thank you to you for what you do. Every year we will get together 
to celebrate you, to celebrate what you do, and most importantly, to celebrate our community caring about those who need help in whatever way they need it. Let's always be here for them. That's how we make our community better, one life at a time. Thank you so very much. Thank you.